Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how do you do? Uh, talking about, uh, well, not talking, rather, we're doing another watching. Talk over. <laughs> <laughs> Which we're going to talk over immensely. I just love just... how when something doesn't make as much sense, we talk all, all, all the time. But yeah. when we're actually oh. invested, we're really quiet. <laughs> yeah, like, Attack on Titan, we barely, we're like, we we don't even, like, complain about it. We're just like, ooh, that's a thing that happened. Yeah, or, like, like make dumb jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Do you know anything about Black Widow? No, literally all I know is the trailer we saw when we went to see um, Violet Evergarden. I was talking to a friend today and he was like, okay, so what are your predictions? And I'll tell you my predictions as well. My predictions oh, okay. are Taskmaster, so the villain we saw in the Skull Mask. I reckon that's going to be girl. My only justification is that I've played The Last of Us Part 2 and I know that <laughs> women truly look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Two is that we're going to have a character that is perceived as a protagonist, but is actually a horrible human being when you think about it. Oh, so it's going to be like Wonder Vision a little bit. Yeah, because <laughs> 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 it's written by the same woman. There was supposed to be like a Black Falcon. Uh, sorry, the <laughs> when... ah, <laughs> the brain. Even <laughs> I just mixed it together. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay, I say Black Falcon as well, but I do it on purpose because okay. the show made a point of it. Okay, I'm just going to do it on purpose from now on then. <laughs> I just love how you did it as well. I'm like, oh my I god. I know, that's great. <laughs> Oops. Uh... No, um, wasn't it like supposed to tie in with Falcon and Winter Soldier originally or something? I read that somewhere. So like, yeah, I mean, it was on the internet, so like, you can't really trust what you read on the internet, can you? So, true. it would be true. <laughs> we'll just have no, because like this is supposed to take place between Civil War and Infinity War. So even then, if... oh. it's a bit weird that it's coming out now. The fact that it's like supposed to be in between that and that is like, why is it coming out now? I'm very confused. Yeah, I, I would have preferred this to have actually come out when it is actually set. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's like, say if you got Iron Man 3 now, Yeah. like, how weird would that be? Because it'd just be like, well, Iron Man's dead, and also this is what's happening now, like, because Black Widow, spoilers, if anyone's, like, not up to date, like, if you're not up to date, why are you watching this video, to be fair? But yeah, yeah and, like, she's dead, so it's a bit weird that yeah, we get the film after she's dead. Like, every other superhero, they have the movies before they have the, like, deaths. I don't know, it is Marvel. They could just bring her back, uh, legit. Yeah. They brought back everyone else. Vision's back, Loki's back, and I think Heimdall is dead, and Quicksilver's dead. That's about it. At least it's only like a two, two and a bit hours, so it's it's a nice tight film. So hopefully it won't be yeah. too rough. I don't know. I think I might be a bit tough on this film because it's not going to win me over with just characters alone because I'm not the biggest fan of Black Widow. Like, I don't hate her or anything, but I'm just kind of like, ah, you're here too. Okay. They could have done something interesting with Black Widow. It's just that oh, I yeah. have, like, this isn't the one. Like, I would have been far more interested in a prequel of her finding, of, of her being found by, um, Orkai or something like that. You know, the Budapest yeah. mission. That's interesting. Yeah. Like, I was mildly interested in her backstory when she was talking about it. And mm. I was like, oh, that'd be kind of interesting to, like, see that and, like, how she was literally trained. But it's not that. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know if this is this is for me, but we shall see. That's one of the few things in Age of Ultron I really liked. Is like, oh, holy crap, Black Widow's gone dark past. I wonder if well, we get yeah, to see Yeah, like, it. the issues that she, like, went through and, like, when she was talking about the fact that she was sterilized and stuff like that, and I was like, oh, dang, that, that would make, like, a really interesting origin story and, like, it would be really interesting to see her, like, tackle with those issues. In the Red Room, where I was trained, where I was raised, they have a graduation ceremony. They sterilize you. It's efficient. One less thing to worry about. The one thing that might matter more than a mission. Right, do you have any predictions for this film that you want to get out of the way? I mean, from the trailer, I got, like, buddy movie vibes with her and the, the girl with the blue hair. 
who is just clearly going to be super edgy and quirky because blue hair. Yeah, oh my god. Like, I wish they'd use another hair color. Because I used to think blue hair was really cool, but now I'm like, yeah. ah, screw that. <laughs> just I'm have normal hair. <laughs> Yeah, I'm starting to want my blue hair back because I did have blue hair for a good while, but it wasn't like, oh, I just want... I was literally like, I like the colour blue. I want it on my head. That was my uh, reason for it. I've been considering dyeing my hair black. Do it. But yeah, I don't really have any predictions, so let's... We can watch and find out. Uh, remember this uh, logo yeah. when it used to mean quality? <laughs> yeah, now it's just like, here's a bunch of movies you used to, like, you've watched previously. Yeah. It's like a right. previously on. <laughs> it's like, uh, yes, previously Marvel, on I should be watching these films instead. Trees. Ooh. Hi. Getting the part of Oh my god, we're starting right blue with her. Hair. It's Blue Hair Girl. Hello. You know, anytime I don't know I think your name a, yet. Anytime I think of a blue hair girl on... Green, I think of what's her face from uh, Blue is the Warmest Color. Oh yeah, Blue is the Warmest Color. I haven't actually seen that. You know what, read the comic, because the comic's good, okay. but I'm one of those rare people that think the film is shit. I recently read Scott Pilgrim and I'm just like, she got like, dirty in the film. And I really liked the film, but like reading the comics, I was like, oh my god, there's so much more like character development and story going on here, and oh my god. Wait, so this is 1995, so is this like Black Widow and her sister? Possibly? What happened? Is it just me or is that act was that acting just very like robotic? Okay, so from the trailers we know she's got a Russian accent, so a brave girl. Your pain only makes you stronger. Oh, uh, like okay. Um That's very not Russian. So maybe they're infiltrators being planted into America? So does that mean like Black Widow and her sister were just Born and conditioned to be assassins from birth, because that's kind of horrifying. That is very scary to think. Like, the character with blue hair is just making me want to play Life is Strange, because it's got the roots coming through and everything, just like Chloe's hair. How long do we have? I don't know. Like an hour, maybe. I don't want to go. And I'm not sure how she feels about it, because she's literally just, I don't want to go. I mean, I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah, I want to know, like, why you would, why are you, why don't you want to go? I also want to know if you're happy about it or not. Could this be good? <laughs> Question mark. Like at this point, I'm waiting to see how they're gonna fuck it up. Where are we going? Home. Oh, where's home? I want to know who. Oh, the Russia. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be like fucking Cruella, where there's gonna be a hit song every five minutes. Oh god, I'll give you this. This is a good song. But if it's every five minutes, then yeah, it's gonna get old. You know what? I blame all of this on James Gunn and his raw talent in Guardians of the Galaxy and New Horizons yeah. songs. Yeah. Hurry up, we gotta go. Go with your mom, go with your mom. Okay, hurry up, I'm coming. Oh, are they having to go back and they don't wanna go back for whatever reason? But then, how were they found out? Were they running on purpose? Like, what made them... Mm. I, I have a lot of questions. Okay. Okay. Alright. <laughs> um, you, you just did what? that? Alright, me. Hang. No. I, I, no, you, no, no. Are you, on, are you on steroids, man? No, you need to explain that film. What the Is fuck? <laughs> Can we please stop doing super soldier shit in Marvel, okay, please? Yeah. Oh, Come on, fuck it's, sake. Getting, it's getting boring now. Come on. I was under the assumption that the uh, base in Siberia in Civil War was like the Russians attempt at recreating the Super Soldier. If they've actually created it, what's the point in the Winter Soldier? I have I have questions now. There I have are so questions, many questions and it's only eight minutes. Eight minutes in and there are questions. Oh my okay, god. Okay, the kid with the blue hair oh is my driving. God. Oh my god. So the plane's dear. not taking off? <laughs> Jesus. That what? That's, wait, what the fuck is happening? I don't know anymore. We had five good minutes, man. How did it go upside down so fast? Is the plane just not gonna take off? It's just like Wonder Woman 84 when the plane's oh about God. to. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, if you can, if you can. Oh my God. Wonder Woman 80 oh dear. <laughs> oh, really? <Jesus>. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh my god. <laughs> no. Just no. Okay, it was pretty cool, but like, really? They're not landing that plane. <laughs> it's a crash landing. You, oh, oh I'm my like, god. <laughs> Cuba. I'm just thinking of uh, the road to El Dorado where they're like, you'll be put in the plantations in Cuba, and he's like, all right, Cuba. <laughs> oh my god, like, Road to El Dorado is so underrated. It's so good. It's it's my favorite. It's like one of my favorite DreamWorks movies. It's so good. My favorite is probably The Prince of Egypt. Oh, I love that movie. It's so, it's so good. good. For a second, I thought that was Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. We got the Russian accents. Oh, okay. So oh, they're... now they're talking Russian. So okay. they were like hiding um... then. Why were they speaking in fluent American? Yeah. Uh, with an American accent when they were alone. Yeah, that that just makes no sense. <laughs> it's like ah, someone might be watching me. I mean, possibly, but that would be that would mean Even that they were still. under suspicion to begin with. And if so, how long yeah. were they under suspicion? And how long have they known their? Oh my oh, God, no. Phil. Oh yeah, that was not very smart. You need to hand me that gun. Wait, why is he speaking with an accent now? What are you doing? Either you are speaking with your Russian accent now because you're in Russia, or you're not. But like, why are you but switching they were between the two? Fluent English, man. Like conversational English. Okay, that just feels like they've done that on purpose, just to be like, look, they're Russian. Oh, okay. And while these men inject strange drugs into you, kids. Also, is this how they're going to be? Going into the Black Widow program. I don't want to go back there. She's only six. You were even younger. You were even younger. You were even younger. Jesus, okay. Oh my god! That's like... Um, okay, oh. film. <laughs> and there you were saying, it's a Disney movie, it won't be that dark. <laughs> it won't be that dark, bro. Well, they sure showed Fucking me. Fucking hell. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Settle on a tone. Oh, a slow version of... It smells like Teen Spirit, that's one. I kind of dig it, but it's just making me want to listen to the original version. The original, like, yeah. No, yeah. Like... I remember they had a vision of a little bit of this song in Moulin Rouge, and I was like, yeah, I just want to go listen to the original version of this song now. <laughs> I, like, this is something I hate in modern day films and like Blow modern down day covers. versions. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's low, it's overly emotional, and you stress on every. Like, Lord yeah. has a lot to answer for. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, if they wanted a song to do this kind of thing, why not just pick a song that's already this slow and melodic? I don't get it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of intrigued. <laughs> Jesus. I am too. Like, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. I just feel like, why did you have to do a slow cover of it? Of it? It's a yeah. popular song, that's probably why they've done it. Oh no, are they just gonna fast forward through the interesting part, you know, the actual training, and just go right to present day? I think they might be. This, oh, no. this is literally what I just said before the film started. <laughs> I want to see this stuff. Like, I want to see like, how Black Widow really became cool Black Widow. Like, this is a really cool intro. Yeah. Cause, like, but I don't want it to be fast forward all, all of it. All the individual aspects of this intro could be a film in itself. This is reminding me a lot about um, either the film or the TV shows. La Femme Nikita. Yes! If that, I'm getting if this that ends, vibe. If this ends up being like Nikita, I'm fully on board, <laughs> but I feel like that's only gonna be for this opening. 21 years- oh, for Why fuck's you... sake. It <laughs> they did skip it. That was a dark opening though. That was like, a hell of a dark opening. There you ending. go guys! <laughs> Kids are being kidnapped! Imagine if we get to see everything building up all the way till Hawkeye saves her from yes. the Black Widow program. And then we have it linked yeah. all the way to Endgame and her that sacrificing be... herself. That would be so cool, but I have a feeling we're not gonna get that. Oh, they mentioned the Zakovia Accords as well. Remember when that was something relevant in the MCU? Yeah, that feels like years ago now. <laughs> in fact, it is years ago. <laughs> it was, but no one's given a shit about it in this universe, despite it and being yeah, like, insanely oh, it's just important. Gone now. Yeah, now it's all about the blip, isn't it? Automatically, this character seems like she's going to be more interesting. <laughs>
Ooh, are you serious? Isn't oh. she supposed to be like a sp Oh, really? You just got took out by a door. Fuck off. Alright then. I'm so sick and fucking tired of that move. What the fuck is happening now? Do you know when um, Wanda would like do the weird like red thing in Age of Ultron? That's what that looked like. That kind of reminded me of a red version of the kryptonite gas from BVS. What? What are you doing? And um, what? Oh, trash baby. So I'm really fucking confused now. So I am too. What's happening? Like here? a red gas under apparently mind control. Oh, he's watching. Is that whole guy? Yeah, because Taskmaster, what his deal is, is that he watches his opponents, learns their moves, and recreates them well, oh, in the comics sick. himself. But I'm sure in, the, in this, it's probably going to be a her. I'd be pleasantly surprised if it's not a her. I don't yeah. know much about Taskmaster. Ma That's Taskmaster literally all I know. <laughs> uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably look him up after this movie. I'm not really well versed with like Marvel villains. Neither am I. I just literally yeah. know his ability. It's a really cool, cool ability. <laughs> it is a cool, and it's like you, you know, like when you kind of watch your like opponents, like in sports, kind of thing. Absolutely, it's pretty interesting. Like that's cool. He's kind of like an assassin version of the blonde-haired dude from Kuroko. One thing I'm confused by is why did we get the intro at the start? Because it's like it's it's clearly not taking place during then. Genuinely, the longer this film goes on, the more it feels like the opening and the um. Like, opening credit segment was just packed on. Yeah, and um, that's kind of It's completely sucky. superfluous so far. It's, it doesn't serve any purpose. If it's gonna be a case of, like, she goes and, like, cracks down her sister, then okay. Sets up the relationship. But if that's never, like, called back to again, then that's pointless. It's like, nice spies have handlers that, Yeah, he's super nice. He's shockingly nice considering the industry he's in. Uh, doozies. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, cool. He, he did exactly what I would have done. Bye. See you then. Oh, hey. She got the suitcase of the weird red mist stuff. Yeah. Uh, Budapest. No, it's, it's Budapest. Budapest. Bud Budapest. Budapest. Whatever. She can't say Budapest properly. <laughs> oh, what a nice handler. <laughs> Aww. Fucking what? We have <laughs> <laughs> like, um, for the job he has, it's completely unrealistic. But I'm like, okay. Yeah, because aren't they supposed to be like, hello, I'm your handler and I will take you out if you go rogue? <laughs> yeah, it's like, pay me or I'll sell you. <laughs> Pretty much. But this guy's like, oh, I want to look after you because I'm nice. Blonde herder. Oh, so that explains why she just has blonde hair, and because like that was just always weird to that me. I was like, oh, she's just in blonde hair world. now. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, she's just blonde now. I was like, is it because the actress decided to go blonde or what? But I was like, no, that makes no sense because like they could just dye it for the movie and then dye it back. Yeah, and then she just had red hair in the next one. And it's yeah. I never understood why that was. <laughs> it's nice to know they're explaining it like years later now. <laughs> There you go. Like, if you have questions about movies, just just wait a few years, and eventually they'll explain why. Oh my god! She's dead. <laughs> Sorry. She's so dead. <laughs> and Black Widow died. Um, that yeah. was a quick film. Uh, I'm yeah. surprised it's two hours long, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. That was a quick two hours, dang. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Not only Task did she Wait. just get blown up. Wait, is um, Taskmaster literally just showing up now? Like, hello. Wait, A, how did Taskmaster find her? B, I thought Taskmaster uh. was going after the sister. Because that's who they Wait, I'm well fucking confused now. It was watching Black... It was watching... I keep saying Black before things, and it's because of the <laughs> film title. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, well, how did he know she was there? Yeah, I know, Is that right? a shield? <laughs> so he has vibranium somehow. 
Um, I don't. I don't even know if it's what? actual how vibranium you... or not, but. It that's must my... be because how it's the just fuck literally. fuck did you end up there? It's literally just sliced through something and the bullets are just bouncing off it. Generally, how did Taskmaster get there? Ooh, Black Widow, do something. Do something, Widow, do something. Why are you just. Do something. Why are you just... Anything will do, just do something. What did you say? Don't know oh my bad. god, finally. I'm sorry, if you're a trained assassin, right, you do not stay How's there. How's your bend hand down. trapped there? How is the case empty? Did she take it beforehand or did she take it during the fight? Plain film. I don't think they will. I bet they're not gonna explain how Taskmaster found her as well. How did you do that? She had a bubble. Well, I guess she didn't dye her hair. Well, you're just literally there like, uh, we gotta explain why she had blonde hair for a bit, guys. Let's just shoehorn a bit of hair dye in there to be like, here you go. Explanation. Like, I know I'm getting upset about hair dye here, but it literally makes no sense. I'm confused. Honestly, if it's not relevant, just leave it out. <laughs> Wait, so how does the sister know where she lives? Or rather, where her safe house is? Maybe they have twin telepathy. That's twin thing. Did you guys get annoyed at each other because one of the other ones stole someone's boyfriend or something? Is that why you guys are mad? I... I <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. Why, though? He called her, and instead of talking, they're pointing guns at each other. What was the point so of that? So, so we can get sibling fight oh what the hell did you go why uh, are you guys mad why is any of this happening and that's what was that? oh my god that was janky ass <laughs> oh like i get you want to do the gritty john wick kind of a fight but holy shit man come on okay why yeah. are you still fighting talk this is taking show don't tell a little bit too literally guys uh... You're not- you, you're showing us things that make no sense. <laughs> you can tell us a little bit. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy you're showing us things, but I'm confused what I'm supposed to make out of it. <laughs> Why are they fighting? I can't tell what the fuck's happening. The, the editing just, and the shaky yeah. cam is so it's weird. fucking annoying. Yeah. But imagine if they both choke each other out now. The end. That's all it took? That's all it took? You just threw me through a wall, smashed my head with a plate, but like, oh no, we're wrapped up in a curtain. Truce, please. This is too much. <laughs> what was the point? Greeting, that, that is how I'm greeting my brother from now on. <laughs> as soon as he walks in through the door, just headbutt him and tackle him to the steps. <laughs> yeah. And then he'll just like smash a plate over my head and then it'll be like, Hello, what's up? Do you wanna do you wanna coffee? That's how <laughs> that's how it's gonna go. <laughs> what was even the point of that? Clearly that's how you greet your siblings. If we cut from them from her opening the wind uh, opening the door, walking in, cutting straight to that shot, what would we miss? There was no reason for that. There was like you could have had a little bit of dialogue to explain, maybe. Wait, so this is set during Civil War? Just after. Why did you sh try and, like, point a gun at her? What do you do that for? Like, they're perfectly cordial now. Like, a little bit of dialogue of, I'm mad at you because this reason. Are they even mad at each other? Is she mad at her for defecting? I think it's more, um, she's mad at her for leaving her alone in wherever she was. Okay, makes sense, but, like, still, I don't think... It required pointing guns at each other like that just felt like it was action for the sake of it what the fuck oh okay so this movie is not gonna have soundtracks every five minutes it's gonna have an action scene every five minutes <laughs> literally how much plot have we had it's been mostly fight scenes since like eight minutes in with the plane <laughs> chase now they're not sending Taskmaster in, they're sending other Widows in. Uh, okay, but why? What? Mm. What the fuck? Um... You know what this reminds me of? But 
done worse. You remember uh, the apartment scene in Atomic Blonde? I haven't actually seen Atomic Blonde. Ooh, we should watch Atomic Blonde, because that's a mildly cool. better film than this, because that actually tries to make sense. That can't be safe. No. No. Does this film realize that Black Widow's Why? actually human? Oh my god! No! Jesus Christ! Oh! Dead? Fuck! Did you what? Just see that animation? That was just like, what? Did what? I just witness? He cracked old. <laughs> that looked like a. You know, like when, when you have a, a video game and you glitch when you're falling down or something? That's what that looked like. And she landed on her feet like a fucking cat. I was gonna say, it's not Black Widow, Cat Widow. What the fuck was that? Like, I get this is meant to be was something Was that like a cyanide pill? It's kind of like the Suicide Squad, I'm guessing. Like safety measures, yeah. Yeah. How is there not a scratch on either one of you? And also, how have they not all, like, broken? Because the amount of times you got thrown into walls then. Like, Black Widow... Should be dead. No, she, she should be in the morgue. How because, is she let's running face it, after that? <laughs> how is she running after any of what's just recently happened to her? Because she got launched how... into a car that what blew the up. Fuck you... What the fuck What the fuck? Uh, we get about two lines of dialogue, and then it's just action immediately right after some action. What is going on? What, what is, is this music? music? <laughs> <laughs> it, looks like it sounds like a Bloodborne <laughs> boss theme. What's going on? I know. What? what? All right. What? What? No. What? And they just died how again. How are you still or standing least... up? I feel like we should just do a how many times she gets injured counter at this point. Like, how many times should she have actually died? Yeah, if we just drive away from the people who are trying to kill us, everything will be How fine. did you plan for that? Car frisbee. No, 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 no. You were very lucky that worked out, worked out yeah, to begin you, with. Yeah, you could have died. Oh, for oh no. fuck's sake. Okay, Taskmaster's just got a tank, as you do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We so they're and dead, right? they oh my died. god, Jesus Christ! They died again. What is this? Like six times now? They should be dead before another action scene happens. Right? She's literally been blown up. She's had a gun pointed at her, plate smashed over her head, thrown out of a building. It's okay. She's bleeding this time. Shot at. Oh, now <laughs> she's bleeding. Fell down a building. Went through a window. Been please? shot at some more, had some cars thrown over her. She's been thrown around in a car. Jesus Christ! And now what? there's more action! Also, I fucking hate the fact that the villains walk when everyone else just runs. Yeah, they're just like, I do, I'm just going to take my time. What? what? Die harding this now. <laughs> Wait, what? How'd they manipulate blood like that? That's not how blood dripping works. It is now, apparently. <gasps> Always a little girl. Daughter was collateral damage. Oh, so she killed the girl. Oh my Ooh. god, imagine if the girl was Taskmaster. We didn't see her die, technically. Bullshit. You just didn't want your baby sister to tag along whilst you saved the world with the cool kids. You weren't really my sister. What? Huh? This this thing that you do when you whip your hair when you're fighting with the arm and the hair and you do like a fighting pose. It tried to lampshade there, didn't it? Absolutely. I actually want to rewatch this and literally count from the start how many, <laughs> like, how long we get between action sequences because that's genuinely, I've never seen that in a movie before. That was insanity. That was like a domino effect, literally. It reminded me of an Uncharted game. <laughs> Yeah, like, I that's what I that. feel like playing Uncharted is like. Like, one minute you're like, oh, that was good. And then it's like you're in a plane and it's like, crap, the plane's crashing, I've got to climb up it. And then more things break and you've got to climb up that. And then people come around and try and shoot you and it's just like, oh my god, can I have a break, please? He takes more every day. 
children who don't have anyone to protect them. Just like us when we were small. Maybe one in 20 survives the training, becomes a widow, the rest he kills. Why did they show the guy mechanic? Oh, famitisms. Uh, what they once had but lost. You get it? I'm sorry, I'm still concussed from them. They beat me over the head with it too much. Like them actually talking right now is that kind of endearing because of the performances. This is kind of a cool sisterly moment and I'm like, okay, so we've had this reunion after years in Budapest and the first thing they do is fight. What, why, why couldn't we have had this? Have a yeah. brief argument at the start, transition into something where she's taken care of because she did just get recovered from mind control yeah. and then transition to this moment. I've never had control over my own life before and now I do. I want to do things. I'm far more interested in the sister than Black Widow. I'm Same. not gonna lie. You too, huh? <laughs> Aww, he's sensitive. See why you keep him around. Where's the rest? How the hell has this guy lasted so long in this profession? Secretary Ross has been sniffing around my affairs to the point to which I've got contacts declining my calls. I'm a private contractor. You are sensitive. Was that You're supposed no, to be no. menacing? He's not sensitive, that is a legitimate point. The Red Guardian's time has come! <laughs> That's just funny because he was so American before. Oh my god. Why do you have super strength though? Wait, is he like the Russian version of Captain, Captain America? America? The only other people allegedly that actually had the superhero, uh, a version of it was the Winter Soldier program. And that then told their soldiers a bit loopy. Just don't make a scene. But oh, wasn't it funny? She said don't make a scene. And he did exactly that. No one's paying attention to the helicopter that clearly does not have clearance to be there. How this woman can still move, I don't know. Now I'm just thinking how Deadpool did that joke way better. You gotta do a superhero landing. Wait for it! Woo! Superhero landing! Yeah, that's really hard on your knees. Why aren't more guards shooting at the helicopter? Hey! This would be a cool way to die. <laughs> That just reminds me of Mulan. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie, that got me. <laughs> this would be a cool way to die. <laughs> I'm gonna use that from now on. Yeah, I mean, it beats like when people are like, it's a good day to die. Because that's overused now. Get us out of here! Do you think Black Widow has been around superheroes so much that she's starting to think she can, like, she has superpowers too? That's why she shouted, because she's like, she'll hear me, surely. <laughs> well, rip the prisoners, I guess, who are gonna be trapped on the snow for who knows how many days. That's even more horrifying that she just said that would be a cool way to die and now literally everyone is gonna die. Apparently without any electricity because the generators are gonna be taken out by this as well. A bunch of innocent people just died. That'd be a cool way to die though. What? Okay. I, I don't quite think this film understands how nature works in conjunction with technology. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I'm sorry, what? A lot of this movie is just me going, what? Oh, I'm so proud of you guys. No one's hearing you, bro. Oh, you it's too loud in there. Oh. Okay, why? I feel like she just likes hitting people. Why the aggression, huh? That's what we've been asking. Oh. That's a funny reaction, but... Direction. That's kind of dark. Yeah. And they rip out all of your reproductive organs. They just get right in there. Oh. And they chop them all uh, away. Too, too much? Okay, okay. So you too much. You don't have to get so clinical and nasty. Oh, well, I was about to talk about fallopian tubes. Okay. I don't know how to feel about no. that moment. No. You're going to tell us how to get to the red room. Um, I'm really annoyed oh, because that so fucking... Oh, you, you're angry. You must be PMSing. That joke just pisses me off. And I'm also like, a woman made this film. Why have you put that joke in this movie? So that they can literally horrifyingly describe being um, 
Sterilized, yes. So you basically made sterilization a joke. Oh my god. After all of this, he doesn't even know where the guy they need is. Wow. They just broke him off for fuck all, just for a dumb period joke. Apparently. This film needs to sort out its fucking tone. Is it a comedy or is it like a grim, depressing fight? The it, start of it, it just is tried, all visual. It just tried to be both. I feel like that joke was thrown in there to try and be feminist, but it's just failed. I mean, there was a review that said it passes the Bechdel test and puts men in its place. I'm like, that's what I want to hear from a Marvel film. Oh. Okay, right, I'm just gonna say this. Just because a film passes the Bechdel test does not automatically make it good. In fact, I, lo I love the fact that even Alison Bechdel herself is like, Hey, guys, don't, wh that's not how that works. Yeah, it's become like a whole, like, Oh, this didn't pass the Bechdel test, and it's like... Fuck, this film needs it to can stop still doing be stupid a good shit film, so that I don't get... Oh, okay, so back to the Bechdel test. Even Alison Bechdel herself is like, guys, don't take it too seriously. Yeah. It, a, it was meant to be a joke, and B, if you're gonna use it, use it as a starting off point, not as a conclusion. Yeah, please. yeah, it, it shouldn't be like, because, yeah. It's, it's a nuance. <laughs> yeah, like, start the conversation, but don't end it with it. Because if we're ending it with it, just know that both Twilight and Fifty Shades as the Bechdel test. Exactly. That's why I'm saying like it shouldn't be a bar for it. It shouldn't be like, oh, it passes the Bechdel test. It's good. No, 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 no. It can still also, be bad. I love how she said, um, oh yeah, you can have a feminist film with one woman in it. It's just use common sense. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Also, that's not how helicopters fall. And everything worked out. Everything worked out? Yes. Dude, they literally just told you they got sterilized, you brick. I feel like this is the Marvel version of your trauma made you stronger, though. I got a headache. I watched episode 6 of Loki earlier. Now I'm watching this. My brain is scrambled. So far, the only one I'm moderately interested in is the blonde. Yeah. The younger sister. And that's because everyone else is so shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, even she's not great, but she's less shit than the others. And yeah. I'm not... she, she's like the lesser evil of all of them. Piggies. As you fucking do. <laughs> do, 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 do. Just let me get my sniper rifle out. They're walking in pretty fucking casually, considering the woman yeah, as like, they're approaching. Do, 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 do. Like, imagine if it was an automated also, defense yeah. system, they'd all be dead. I know, yeah. Is she it, gonna punch him too? I feel like that's where this is going. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. But this reunion would actually mean something if we knew what these characters were to each other. Yeah, like, I got the father vibe, but now I'm just getting guardian vibes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Really? You're throwing an Incredibles joke in there? A genuine question. When was the last time we had any competent man? Endgame? Maybe? Yeah, I wanna say Endgame. I never watched it once. Ew! Back together again. Family construct was just- Is that gonna be in the context of they were actually put together as a family? A constructed fiction? But the parents, quote unquote, parents trying to keep them away, but they got found out, and that. But if that's the case, how did they get found out, and what? Like, no, um, like it seemed like it seemed like they were trying to escape, but then it seemed like he was like, it's gonna be okay before they got injected. So it was like he knew that was gonna happen. He's acting like a goofy dad. He's acting like a goofy dad, and I don't like it because he's supposed to be this like. This guy who's clearly like they feel has betrayed their trust or was supposed to be like a dad figure to them because you could clearly see they looked they looked horrified and like betrayed when they got injected. But he's just playing a goofy dad character and it it's so out of place. Yeah, but we gotta get the ha ha's in there. Not one thing you said has made me laugh. Uh, we've been laughing and at the film, but you know. Yeah. 
fucking what? Can you let your piggy die? Like, please don't what? let your piggy die. Please don't kill a piggy. What did the piggy ever do to you? Okay, so remember at the start of the film, I was saying, oh, there's going to be a character that the film says is good, but is actually kind of horrifying. I think we found her. I'm going to name the pig Jerry. Jerry's better than all oh of my you. Oh, God. no. All right, well, don't worry. Alexi could have survived 11 more seconds without oxygen. Good boy. Now you go back, back home where it's safe. You go, you go I'm still calling him Jerry. Safe. Fuck you. I'm not lying. You're Drakov's architect. Huh? What were you? If I was his architect, you were his, you were his partner, you were his no, business no, no, I was partner. Don't give me. He sell me ideology. Oh, stop with the bullshit! Oh, no, you are an idiot, and you're a coward. About the only time I've agreed with Black Widow. I just feel so bad because I know he's a good actor. I've seen him in Stranger Things, and he was really funny, and I really liked his character in that. David Harbour's great. David Harbour is awesome. He really does because, like, to go from Stranger Things, where his character is like so layered and really interesting, to this is just like, what's going on, man? It was real to me. You are my mother. You were my real mother. The closest thing I ever had to one. The best part of my life was fake, and none of you told me. And those agents. You chemically subjugated around the globe? That was me. And you? You got out. Drakov made sure no one could escape. Are you gonna say anything? No. Don't tell me. Hey, Lena. No. Oh, that, that was kind of good. Yeah, that was... I feel really bad for her, and again, I think I like her the most out of the characters in this film so far. The first time we said, oh, that was good, and how far into the film are we? Like, an hour and a bit? I didn't want to talk. Look. We, uh, we just sit. We just sit. Yay, they didn't go for comedy. You want me to explain or? Um, no, no, the film. In fucking general. hell, they kidnapped her! Jesus Christ! Also, I'm literally team everyone in Marvel should go to therapy. But uh, the writers, directors, or like actual characters? Yes, the characters and the writers at this point. <laughs> You're like, I wish we had kind of like, you remember in The Simpsons, Ed Flanders got a hold of all the uh, security cameras and was telling people what to do and what not to do? Like, I feel yeah. like we need a Ned Flanders for Marvel, just <laughs> saying, hey, that that's kind of not Marvel, the guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is literally the whole trauma made you stronger, like, thing. Instead of just saying, oh, trauma made you stronger, you need to add layers to it. Instead of just saying, oh, yeah. trauma equals stronger. Because yeah, I hate it that. can make you stronger, but you need the surrounding context to inform what it is that made her stronger. Trauma can be a catalyst, exactly. but it can't be all of it. Yeah, also trauma can make it make you not stronger. Like, trauma can take away some strength, too. So I feel it like... It could cripple you, the implication that <laughs> Yeah, the, the implication that, oh, if you go through trauma, you will come out stronger is very harmful because it's like not always... Like, what, say if you're somebody who goes through a trauma and you've been told, oh, trauma makes people stronger. And then you you tend to like the trauma makes you. It can be the opposite. Like imagine how that would feel. Yeah, like obviously this film is saying it's bad to imply that, but it's just like I feel like it's just doing it surface level. It's not like really looking at it. This is like one of the downfalls of it being a Disney film. It can't be proper hard R yeah. and delve into it. It needs to have the jokes. It needs to be lighthearted. But it also wants to do this, yeah. and it just does not work. Yeah. See, if we had a scene when they were younger and they were stressed out because they failed their exam or something like that, 
And the dad and sang started the singing. That, yeah. That would be a callback, informed character. That would be sweet. Joke. Yeah. But now it's like, oh. But now it's just a callback. Yeah, he just not done anything to earn immediate forgiveness. Oh, action. <laughs> I love that sentence. He didn't earn anything for those, for that forgiveness at all. He literally, he walked in, started singing, and magically made everything better. They think. Really? Oh, for really? fuck's sake, are we doing a Looney Tunes really? joke now? Also, that should kill him. Yeah, that, like... many tranquil that, that many tranquilizers should kill someone. Even super soldiers. Oh, they already got to her. Okay, wait, how? Oh, never mind. She's just unconscious. Oh, no. Ooh. Do you know what? She's literally just done unspeakable things. And then that wasn't very surprising. And they Funny literally thing. just showed how, like, horrible she can be without even thinking about it. If anything, I'm surprised they waited that long. Oh my god, what if she's actually being adultism and she's actually pretending to capture them so that they act surprised when they meet everyone when in actuality she's trying to get them really close to the guy they need to kill. Also, double agents are kind of a big spy trope, so it makes yeah. sense. Let's see. If what I thought of in five seconds will actually be what happens in this film. Is what the happens? fuck is this? The, the Red Room is a flying station in this- what? Oh, they learn how to choreograph. Oh, so this is where Beyonce gets her backup dances from. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm more surprised that this Super uber secret red room has not been picked up by anyone when it's literally floating in the sky. It's, it's like... sky high, but but for widows. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh hey, the villain who's back about an hour and a half after the film starts. Is this? Wait, how does this equal to Why mind then? control? But <laughs> if you don't do it properly, you may damage the brain. Maybe they got the best surgeon. I don't know. Maybe, but wouldn't that just risk possibly lobotomizing one of them? I can't believe this film actually has the most stereotypical Russian villains ever. Oh no. What's his motivation? Why does he why why does he run the red room? What does he want? Who knows? Who even cares? At, at this point, I'm just getting I'm a pervy old guy. Oops. Oh, fuck off! Oh, ew. Ew, Fuck ew, ew, ew. right off. What? Can that looks gross, but also, what the fuck? Uh, can we please stop using that disguise in Marvel shows? Because it's fucking shite. That was even dumber than the plot twist you were going for. Are you really crying now? She's going to be like, oh, you, don't you realize it was all part of the plan? Look, it's me. I feel uh... like this guy's literally just getting by on walk. Outside right hip. Oh, are you kidding me? She's gonna do the fake out again. She did the fake out again. Just why? Is this really the moment to be having this conversation? Oh my god. Is the point of this character to show just how fucking inept he is and for no other reason how is than he... that? It's like, oh, they gave someone the super serum who's an idiot. Hey, it was my plan. Hey, with a couple of extra steps. <laughs> so what do we do now? I mean, she said she's gonna kill you. When did she get all those earrings? I was about to say that. Is it gonna be somebody we know? It's his daughter. It's gotta be. Yep. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> It's the daughter. That is that is poorly composited. Oh, that CGI is really bad. Oh, are we gonna get a fight where she literally fights like everybody, like Iron Man? I mean, it'd be actually. How would you fight like Iron Man? Because like you don't have an Iron Man suit. That one maybe work. it's more Cap, Black Panther, and all of them. Um, oh yeah, so like she can do their like. Fighting styles. Just 
Stab him. Why aren't you stabbing him? Why aren't you doing anything, Black Widow? Like, a lot of the times where you've been cornered, you just kind of chill there why don't and not you kill done her? anything. Why isn't anyone doing anything that they should be doing? Or why aren't you talking to them and distracting them? Because, I mean, she was like... Shit deal. Wait, why, why isn't he able to shoot her? Him? Mind control. Did they mind control her? But when did that happen and how? What happened? She's been sat there the whole time to... But there is a pheromone on lock. Pheromone? Oh. Pheromone? Ew. Pheromone? <laughs> what? Really upset with me. <laughs> you can't do anything to me because I smell. Oh my god. What? Also, <laughs> there is no way Olga Korolenko has that physique. For Taskmaster. <laughs> Just saying. No. It actually looks quite hilarious with the mask off. It yeah. looks TG. <laughs> Did they oh, we're get... actually gonna get to see him do something useful? Okay. Really? Okay, so how how's Black Widow going to overcome smelling? Oh, really? <laughs> I feel ashamed for laughing at it, but <laughs> I yeah. didn't enjoy that. I feel like they are really, really trying to smack you over the head with the superhero landing joke. I'm being self-aware of it as well. I, yeah, I'm starting to feel like the writers were like patting themselves on the back, like, ha 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 ha, we're good. We called it out, and it's like, Deadpool <laughs> did it first, though. Why don't you just shoot Black Widow? Why aren't either of you doing what you should be doing? Don't tell me to stop! Oh my god. God, even this Ew. one. This film is like, ha, men bad, get it? Men are pathetic. Because men, men are, are trash. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's easier to be tough in front of defenseless little girls, huh? Yeah, cause, oh, fuck off film. I'm really getting sick of films being like, men bad. That's the quote, the, there we go, the feminism quota has been met today. Walk away now. <laughs> Jesus, do, 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 do. Just on. This film has males. I'm yet to see an actual man. This film has people who just um, they're like walking toxic masculinity tropes. Yeah, it's like oh, what are the worst things we have ever seen? Okay, um, let's attribute it to men and talk about just how horrible men are. Let's get every trope and attribute it to the two men in this film. One is yeah. an incompetent absentee father, and the other is a coward who abuses women. Congratulations, you proved your point. All men are horrible. Can we get a good film now? You don't even need, you know, you can still prove the point men are horrible, but you don't need to have the male characters all be shitheads. It's the same problem with Wonder Woman 84. All the men in Wonder Woman 84 are absolute assholes. The same with Birds of Prey. There's not a single good yeah. person, a good, <laughs> literally, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman in that film, but... They're, they're like, all just shit. They're all just shit. <laughs> like, I like Birds of Prey, but you absolutely have a point. Like, that film does it as well, it's like, men bad. Yeah, it's like, all the women are in bad positions in life because of men. They don't take any responsibility, it's all men's fault. Yeah. That's fine, because a lot of the times, sometimes men can cause that but it's not just men it's a combination of everything and like it's annoying because it feels like they can't have a conversation about like how to make it better it's just like look this is how shit men are and they can't get any better that's like kind of what it's implying and it's like can we have a film where it's like look men can be shit but they can actually get better if you you know show them you know like if you t take a man who's being like shitty and just be like dude your behavior is shitty and then oh, maybe have the like man have some Manor. character growth. Yeah! Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Although even then, he's still very much, like, shitty. He is. With a little but... bit of, like, he's realised he's shitty, but he's yeah. now dead. So, yeah. <laughs> bit of sweet re realisation there. <laughs> I know, like, 
for what that show was going for, though, it was completely appropriate in the way that they yeah. had the character growth and the way the moment of realization and all of that. It all made sense. Yeah. And he came to understand the error of his ways and understood that oh, he yeah. had to move on. He had to admit to all of this. Whereas yeah. over here, now men are just pathetic, man. They're just horrible human beings. They should be euthanized. Yeah. What annoys me, though, as well, because in the movies, the men don't really get come up into this, they just get beaten up or they're never like arrested or anything like that or, or it, you know put in a situation where it's like ah maybe i shouldn't have done that like Fucking maybe what maybe yeah huh what did you just break her own nose <laughs> <laughs> I with his face with i can't deal with this film she broke her own nose so she couldn't smell to beat him up. I mean, uh, why not just find something to block your nose with? I know. Just pinch your nose, breathe through your mouth, and then just slap him. Why? What? What? No. Everyone's uh, dead. You're way too calm in this situation. I mean, that reminds me of like, you know, a kid's broken something and they're like, Mom, I kind of broke a glass. <laughs> Please don't be mad at me. Oh, what is this editing? Oh, that's why they've got a somewhat... Where the fuck did she understand. come from? Oh, we haven't had the skydiving this moment, scene yet. This this moment should be empowering, but it's not. No, but they proved that men are pathetic, though. That's my point. He's pathetic and kind of not really... He's just been a bit of a dick. But the kind of guys you find on a bad date. Yeah. What is this editing? Is, Fuck's it, sake. I don't know. I really don't know anymore. <laughs> I just don't know why, but what like, you know, music? when she was like, I don't know, it's like, if it's reminding me of Halo a little bit. <laughs> Halos was so much better though. <laughs> but I, I totally <laughs> yeah. get what you mean. Or, yeah, like you said before, a Bloodborne boss or something. <laughs> yeah, that moment where she was like, you took my family, you took blah blah blah, that should have been empowering, but I was just like, I don't feel any emotion right now, and I feel like it's because it's not really been built up. No, he's because he's just popped up recently, he's just like, hello, I'm here, I'm bad guy. Yeah, we Like we five... saw him at the start and the end, that's it. <laughs> Literally. And we've heard people talk about him, but that's it. Oh, so she's dead now, right? Yep. What kind of grenade was that? We did it, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, they're all good men now. This film is... Yay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, she's trying to um, find the mother, right? Yeah, she wants to find her mum. Data transfer complete. Like, imagine if it had like two terabytes worth of data and she had like a 200 GB flash drive. She's like, yeah. oh, damn it. What am I going to put? We. Okay, so she has no parachute. Does this film understand that Black Widow's human? No, he's an Avenger, so like naturally Avengers just like share their powers clearly. <laughs> it's like she absorbed their powers through yep. osmosis or something. <laughs> she just yeah. Like she hung out with Thor, so now she can breathe lightning. She hung out with Cap, so now she can just like hold on Throw for ages, <laughs> hanging off the building. Yeah. yeah. Going down. This is like Uncharted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember Uncharted being. Or even though. Tomb Raider. Even Tomb Raider has like in one of the games, like there's a literal you're in a literal plane crash and you have to climb out of the plane as it's dangling off a cliff. How is she still alive? Oh, hi. The only way she's still alive is like literally osmosis. She just borrowed powers clearly to survive. I'm gonna open the door. Why? Did you forget your lines? Did, did you need to check the script? Is that what's <laughs> happening right now? <laughs> like Schwarzenegger in Terminator. I'll be back. Why are you doing this? It was this just though? the way she was like, I'm, I'm gonna open the door and you're gonna try and beat me up on you. And I'm like, yeah, are you trying to remember your motivation? Or do you think it's like a puppy? where it won't try to kill you okay. for letting it out. We Yeah, that's when not gonna work. When did she get those? I just assume she has everything now. 
she had packed for every occasion. She's like, I may have to hang off a building a few times today. Oh, I just well, felt like a cool guy. Don't look at explosions. <laughs> wasn't that just lucky? Yeah. Is it just me or does the um, anime, like animation, CGI look really <laughs> janky? It does. Okay, so it's not just me and my blind ass, like, seeing blurs. Oh my god, that was bad. That's like Final Destination levels of bad. I think Final Destination had better. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking sorry, about, I think... what? Look, I know she hung out with Thor, but she cannot fly, no. <laughs> okay, so opening a parachute in that location, um, he's gonna get cut up immediately. We. Ex excuse me. Wait, so they're using Taskmaster's parachute. So if Taskmaster didn't go after her, she would have just died. Oh wait, I forgot she's a cat. She would have survived. Never mind. Why was there slow mo for that? Films like to slow mo the weirdest things, don't they? <laughs> Does she need the mask to breathe or something? Is no, she Darth she Vader? Fine. Oh, the... The oh. autisms. Oh my god. Oh, what? you fucked up. You ruined Taskmaster. How'd you do that? So now oh, she's but... just good autisms. Oh, but you know what? It's good because now she is no longer under the control of the evil man. And he's dead now, so... Yay, I guess. Who developed oh. this anti-body virus Norton thing? And how did they know it was gonna work? Why does it work? How does it work? Are we gonna get anything? Probably not. It's one of them, it's... I think in, in like some movies you get an antidote and you don't get told how you get the antidote, it's just... It's just... it's like a... It's but literally a plot device machina. that you, you... That's the one. I couldn't think of the word for it. I knew there was a word for it, but it couldn't. I remember it from Promare. Deus ex machinada! This entire film's just made me think of better films, and that's not what you want to do with your film. You want to have, like, really cool original ideas that make me go, yeah, I like this film, I want to watch this film. But no, it's just been like, this film did it better, that film did it better. Remember how Natasha had a sister all these years and didn't want to bring it up in any of the previous 23 films? To be fair, then we had Hawkeye, who never mentioned his family once, but then he just had a family magically. I mean, at least they tried to explain yeah, that. Yeah, like, that one, they were like, well, he, he you know, tried to keep them yeah, safe. Nick Fury but tried he his was best already... to keep them off the record and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, fair yeah. enough, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, that one's fair. But this and one plus, is Natasha like, Natasha knew about it too, which makes yeah. sense. Literally, the sister is just kind of, there's no reason to keep it secret, other than maybe Black Widow is just like, I don't want to tell people about my I'm good. Which is weird considering the relationship she has with Hawkeye. Like, Hawkeye's literally like her best friend, so. Are we gonna get a post credit scene of the sister visiting Natasha's grave? No. Or maybe that's gonna be the moment when he becomes the next Black Widow. 
Yeah, we're not bad guys anymore. Yes, we only tried to kill you a couple of times. I wonder how they feel knowing that the woman who experimented on them and created the Black Widow program, the current oh, wow. incarnation, is going to feel about yeah. coming along with them. I'm really disappointed that the big bad was just a creepy old man. If anything, Thanos was just, you know, a chump in comparison. Fucking hell, just end. Just literally just end. Please, just end. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, and also how they had like a dysfunctional family unit going on there. Literally. Go and watch Mi The Mitchells vs. The Machines. It does it so much better. Oh yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about that film. It's really good, like, especially as well as that, like, it has a character that loves making films, and it's just like... Oh, oh so she's just here. She's Ow. here and blonde. Oh, now she's blonde. Why is this guy still helping her? A good question for another time. Like, I do not know. I think he's one of those... Um, I think the internet likes to call them simps. Um, <laughs> oh my god, he's is Scarlett Johansson only... a Twitch thought? She'll make millions selling her bath water. You know, one thing I'll respect Do... Belle Delphine for is her hustle. That's true, girl boss energy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking just end. Why? Please! It started with trees, it's gonna go out with trees. Is group gonna show up? Oh. I fucking called it! I called the end credit scene. Hang on, why does Black Widow have such a modest grave? She should have like a fucking memorial somewhere. Yeah, she should. Like, she was an Avenger. She should be getting the equivalent of Superman's statue in BVS. Well, they, I... did they kind of have like a joint funeral for her and Iron Man? I, I don't remember. know. It was just. It felt Iron like Man it was that. very much just Iron Man. Yeah, I was like, I was like, kind of like, where's the love for Black Widow though? Like, where are the people grieving her? Like, I know it was sad Iron Man died, but I was just like, it feels like they're just kind of like, oh yeah, she died too. Who are you with the purple hair? You're interesting. Oh, I didn't get to that part yet. Oh Jesus oh. Christ! That's the woman oh, yeah, from she... Black Falcon and White Winter Soldier. Yes, I thought I recognized her. Jesus Christ, I cannot stand this character at all. Her and what's her face from WandaVision can just fuck off. Cat Dennings. Oh, no, I thought you were talking about Agatha Harkness. I was like, you don't like her? <laughs> oh, no, like, she was the only good man in the show. But, um, oh, yeah. I don't know, like, Cat Dennings and Julia Louis Dreyfus in these films, I just cannot stand. Well, that, that was a whole lot of, um,. Confusion. Uh -huh. Um, I'm kind of deflated to be honest. Me too. I'm just kind of like, eh, am I even mad? I'm just incredibly apathetic right now. Like honestly, though, contrast that with the way we watch Attack on Titan. Genuinely, we're engaged. We're interested, we're taking everything in, and we're not going, wait, that makes no sense. Whereas this, every five minutes, something happens that just contradicts itself, or yeah. something that came previously. Like, that movie was just a bunch of, like, what am I even watching? And David Harbour's character, why was he even in there? Like, what did he add to the film? Literally nothing. He wasn't even funny. Oh, he was a punchline for... How men abandon their families. I'm genuinely angry on behalf of, like, guys. Because, no, I'm sorry, if you want to make a statement about how men are terrible, I agree men are terrible. Not all of Thanks. them. Right? <laughs> You're welcome. When I say that, I don't. Literally, I'm not talking about. If, you know, if it, the whole not all men thing, it's like, literally when I say men are terrible, I'm not talking about you. If you're not terrible. Does that make any sense? Look. <laughs> Here's where I stand. Never Some men are terrible. And you know what? Yes. Some women are terrible. It's just a fact of yes. life. 
can we please go back to treating each other equally instead of just having this double standard where we pretend women are perfect and men are horrible? Yeah. That's what I want. People don't want to sit down and have conversations about this kind of stuff. So there's never going to be like a meeting in the middle. It's always going to be like, well, you did this, you did that. And it's never going to, because it can't, it, it, I don't know, it just, unfortunately... Yeah, people don't want to have conversations. They want people to just, don't want to have conversations like that because they, want to they just want to accuse each other and yeah. try to prove that they are right above everything else. But that's why I despise um, Black Falcon and White Winter Soldier because it is pointing the finger and it's telling everyone to do better without actually yeah. having a conversation. It is a big um, critical race theory lecture, and I'm like. Okay, yeah. but that's not Falcon's character. You've destroyed that character to make a point, and now you've yeah. contradicted 11 years of storytelling, and people celebrate it, and that genuinely annoys me now. Yeah. It's getting to a point where it's like, oh, well, that's the only representation we're going to get, so, you know, there we go. It's almost um, like Hollywood only that. discovered black people existed five years ago. It's like, guys, um, eight years ago, nine years ago, you know, at the mm. turn of the decade, um, when Avengers was coming out, when The Dark Knight Rises was coming out, it it really did felt like there was a genuine change that was occurring organically, where more women were getting roles, where more ethnic people were getting roles, where more people of the LGBT community were getting roles. It was occurring yeah. organically. But now we've gotten to the point of, you got to have a particular checklist that you are biologically yeah. predetermined to have. If not, yeah. you're just not going to get the part. And it's like, mm -hmm. oh, gee, thanks, bro. Everybody. Honestly, <laughs> like, because ever since the Oscars in, in, um, introduced the diversity quotas for their films, any director yeah. who wins an Oscar, can you honestly say that you were the best director anymore? It's like, you, you've, got a, you've got an Oscar there because of meeting a quota that a bunch of rich white guys basically look you at. You got a participation like, it's award, even... congratulations. Yeah. Like, I used to want to be like, oh yeah, I want to like maybe try and get an Oscar, like that was like a kind of filmmaking dream, but it's like, now I'm just like, no thank you, I'm good. Yeah. Like, I'd now rather I'm just get an like, MTV award film, instead. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather just get a film into a festival, and even if it didn't win anything, or, you know, do that good, that would, I would consider that, like, awesome. That's kind of my goal as a filmmaker, to just make something and put it in a film. Put it out there, even. And it's like, when I see reviews for this film in particular saying, oh, this film puts men in their place, I'm like, what place exactly? Because yeah. you spend two hours emasculating also, why, men. Why are we trying to put men in a place? Why that I, I don't like that. I don't like that saying, like, put men in their place. What are you trying to say? It's like, like how, are we lesser? They, they have should to we go be in at a lesser position? Yeah, like, are you trying to say they should be in a, like, lesser position? Because literally, that's the whole point of feminism, is women to trying be equal to, to, men. Be, yeah, to be, trying to be equally, on equal footing, not equal trying to be better than. Yeah. Yeah. Actual feminists aren't people that think men should be under the foot. Like, actual yeah. feminists are just people <laughs> that think... Yes, the men should be involved too, and actively think that misogyny is bad for men too, not just women. Like that's why I get angry at films like this, and when people say they're feminist, because it's like if you think men should be below women, you're not feminist. That's not feminism, and it makes me angry that feminism gets like equated with that, you know, because that's yeah. not what it is. It's not what it should be, and the fact that it makes people shy away from being feminists. That's why it's making me angry because it's like, no, people should be like, yeah, I want equality for both genders and people who are non binary. Yeah, just be whatever the hell you want to be. I'll treat you equally. Just don't force me to do anything, man. That's all I ask. That's literally, yeah, that's it. That's why I'm annoyed at this movie because literally, you know, the whole basically confirms people's biases towards people who are feminist because it's like, oh, Feminists just want men to be like, you know, it's, it's like feminists just hate men. And it's like, no, they don't. Not actual ones. Not ones with common sense. It's like how some vegans are very like, if you're not vegan, you're evil. 
and then that gives vegans a bad name. So when you get people under like claiming to be feminists and saying things like men should just all die or something stupid like that, I don't know. That's not feminism. That's just you saying I don't like men. In fact, that's yeah. sexist. So like that's not feminism because it's supposed to be equal playing field, not one above the other. But because when you have favoritism of one or the other, then that is just sexism. Oh, the only difference is now women are doing it to men as opposed to men doing it to women. So we're back to the 60s yeah. with the roles reversed. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. But I would like to just, when I refer to myself as a feminist, I'd just like to hammer that point in that I do not think that men should be below women. The I fact that you have to clarify that. Equally. Reveals it the sad state me. of things. Yeah, it makes me angry that I have to do that, but I will always refer to myself that way because that's what I think feminism should be, and that's the kind of feminism that I practice. Yeah, because it believe it was advocate for. There we go. <laughs> advocate. Yeah, absolutely, and that was what feminism was until recently. Like, let's go back to Alison Bechdel, Camille Bag uh, Paglia, and stuff, uh, women like that, you know, who actually practice, you know, classical fem feminism, where it's like, okay, men, women should be treated equally. And when they're saying to modern day feminists, guys, you're taking it a bit too far, like, you know, some something's gone wrong along the way. That's why I don't pe call people like that feminist, and I'm saying, actively saying, that's not feminism. Because mm. if you label it feminism when it's not, that's the problem. You're giving it a label that it shouldn't have. No this film pissed it. me off a lot more than yeah, this, this film pissed me off quite a lot. It made a joke out of fucking sterilization. And it's like basically said, oh, all men are bad. And I, mean, I was it. so but uncomfortable like, during that really, point. What are you and I rarely get uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm just, I just, I don't understand how anyone wrote that scene and was like, yeah, that's a good joke to put in there. Ha ha ha, sterilization. The same woman who thought imprisoning 4,000 people and locking their children in their rooms for days at a time is a hero. Still can't believe that Monica Rambeau said, they'll never know what you did for them. I was like, they what? Can. <laughs> they, kind they knew of, full they well. Kind of have a reason. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, okay, sure. Wanda was like, I'm horrified of what I've done. It's like, Wanda, you still did it. Wanda, you leaving. Yeah. You, and you instead know, of facing you know, her consequences, it. she... Yeah. Fucked off? Like, oh. Yeah. It's like, bye guys. I hope you uh, get over the horrible trauma I put you through. Like, <laughs> the moral compass. Of like, so I like many... WandaVision, but yeah, that's just like horrifying. <laughs> like, the moral compass of so many of the characters in this universe have been completely annihilated. WandaVision is behaving like a villain now. Black Falcon, White Winter Soldier. <laughs> They hated a man because Falcon gave up a shield, and for no other reason. And they got pissed off because yeah. they regretted giving the shield up. That's it. Um, yeah. Which makes them incredibly petty. Fucking Loki is basically a simp now. and For himself. For himself, which is the kind, weirdest part. Kinda. I mean, it kinda makes sense to super narcissistic. <laughs> yeah, I was, talking, I was talking to Michael about this, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and I was saying, okay, so Loki, you know, the entire thing is, oh, how Lokis are alone and how they'll never make any friends. Wouldn't it make more sense if he formed an actual relationship, friendship or otherwise, with Owen Wilson instead of him fucking self? Yeah. I was very, like, weirded out by that when it was like, oh, you like her. I was like, what are you doing, Joe? What? No. What? It was like, oh, you do like her, and then it was like heavily and more leaned into, oh, they like each other. Oh, okay. Like at this point, whenever I hear a Marvel film is announced, they're casting for a character, I don't want them to touch my favorite characters anymore because I don't want them yeah. to be ruined. Like six, seven years ago, I would have been like, oh my god, we're getting a film about such and snow about Snowflame or yeah. you know someone like that. But now I'm like, no, don't touch yeah. them. No, 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 leave them alone. Yeah. Don't touch them. I mean, the way I'm getting through it is I'm like, it's just a variant of Loki. It's not actually Loki. The actual Loki died. For me, I'm treating it like a, this is a what if scenario. This is what would happen to a different Loki. We're okay. getting a different Loki, basically, is the way I'm seeing it. 
then that that that's how it's not ruined for me, I guess. Even I though. am still very confused by like certain things, like who decided it was a good idea to have him fall in love with a version of himself because it's like, or themselves because they confirmed he's gender fluid. It never comes into play fluid. at any point. Which is just yeah, they just wrote it on a piece of paper, which is still like. Like, because Why? if they're trying to imply, oh, because Loki has a variant that's female, that makes him gender fluid, then aren't we all technically gender fluid? Uh, because we'll all have no. variants that are female? Well, no, because gender fluid isn't identifying as one. No, 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 people, I, it's just I know, but of... I'm going according to the show's uh, logic. Yeah. yeah, I don't think using, I don't think having, like, also, they don't even call her Loki, they call her Sylvie. Yeah, and that's like, that's like just kind Loki. of... At which point I'm like, okay, well, why? Yeah, not, why have we not had exists. another variant? Like, why have none of the other variants gone? Don't call me Loki. I want to be called something else. Why? Gen generally, why is any of her happening? Like, why did the time cops come after her? Why did? Uh, why was she about to be melted? Why was any of that happening? We don't know. It's it's very weird with the whole variant thing. Like, why specifically this one? Is like, oh, I'm Sylvie. Okay, why aren't any of the other ones doing that? Like, I feel like surely one of them would also be like, yeah, I don't like the lame Loki. I'm going to be called something else. I you love know, Alligator Loki. Like, I just want to show about him. Do you know what? Alligator Loki <laughs> is probably the best written character in the show. Like, he was consistent. <laughs> did, he did yeah. his thing. He didn't speak, which helped. Because if, yeah. if he spoke, I'm sure he would have been messed up somehow. I do love how they're like, well, at least my Nexus thing wasn't eating the wrong cat. And <laughs> oh my his god. His reaction is just to bite people, and I'm like, that's a mood. No, but then it's going to be done by Marvel, and it's going to be shit anyway. Like, <laughs> oh. I want them to just stop. Like, I, I am so apathetic towards oh, Marvel. Marvel lived, long, Marvel lived long enough to become DC. <laughs> Genuinely, it's worse than DC now. Neither cut. Is Snyderverse is better? I think I told you on a message the other day. Yeah, like, you did. You like Snyderverse is better at this point. I'd rather watch the Snyderverse for its oh, consistency Lord. than this. Let that oh. sink in. And people wonder why I don't watch many Western films anymore. <laughs> because they're all like anger-inducing, pretty much. Yeah. They either don't make yeah. sense or they're political. Great. Right. I mean, you can make a political film, but like, just... give me a heads up. I'm <laughs> what I what I mean is like, if you're gonna make a political, you need to also include the nuances of both sides, especially that if it's a gender nice. politics you're going into. Maybe don't just make it one sided, where it's like, oh, all men are horrible. Like, even promising young woman managed to be like, look, both genders are shitty. Yeah. And you know what? Bly Manor had one horrible guy and one nice guy. It balanced mm -hmm. out. And I'm like, ah, yeah. look at that. Yeah, like, this film had no... There was no nuance behind it. It was no. just... It was just been bad. shallow. It's so in bad faith. And it's incredibly venomous in its yeah. take on what it thinks men are. If you want to make a commentary on it, it was a bad way to comment on it. Like, this is the equivalent of fucking, I don't know, a Batman film saying that all women are gold diggers. Like, yeah. no, not all, please, don't say that. Yeah. Again, like I say, you can make films that comment on that. Like I said, Promising yeah. Your Woman, really good <laughs> film commenting on the state of things, but it doesn't, like, discriminate... It doesn't specifically say, look, men are horrible. It says, look, women also contribute to this shitty situation. There's a cycle of toxicity that everyone seems to be feeding into at the moment. Yes. And it's that, just... And that, yeah. If you just come at it from one perspective, you can't really... I mean, of course you're going to come from it from one perspective because it's kind of the writer's perspective. Kind of, that's what you draw stories from. It's a from, very narrow-minded perspective. But it is. It's like... It's not a really, it's really not a great message because it's basically saying, yeah, men are horrible and there's nothing we can do about it and they're never going to change. Oh, but... oh, they need to die. And that was oh. kind of like, <laughs> no. And it's like, even Enola Holmes is like, 
all men are oppressive and if you want to be a strong independent feminist woman you need to be completely alone and not take help from anyone else that is yeah. a horrible message what's empowering is the choice to either build a life with someone or choose to be alone not like alone is the only option if you want to be empowered that's stupid there's a fundamental misunderstanding of what independence is today because a lot of writers seem to think it's being alone independence is when you have the capability of doing something alone and making the choices by yourself but exactly. knowing that you have the strength to work with other people and build things with other people do you know what i probably i'm gonna have a situation where i'm gonna be like oh hey did you watch black widow and people are gonna be like yeah i loved it and it's great and i'm gonna be sat there going yeah, it's a movie. It's very lonely not liking popular things sometimes. Oh, you know how I feel. Yeah, it's it's sucky because they genuinely have had really good movies up until fairly recently. But now... but I guess like the oh, I on. think they were they were bound to go downhill at some point. I mean they've been making Marvel movies for years now. Yeah, and the longer you perpetuate the story, the more convoluted it's going to yeah. get unless you have some really talented writers. It's getting to it. It. I genuinely thought, like, when it got to Endgame, they were just gonna reboot it. I wish they did. That's what I thought because it's like that's what they do with comments. It, sorry, that's what they do with comics. When they get to the end of a story arc, they reboot it and do a different story arc with different versions of the characters, you know. And I thought that was what was gonna happen after Endgame, but uh, apparently not. They just carried on. And uh, if you carry on from a storyline where literally half the planet got blipped, it's kind of hard to not write yourself into a corner, I think. Yeah, not just once, twice. And you have your characters dying, so you have to kind of introduce new characters to sort of replace them, and if the new characters aren't really that great, or, you know, they ruin current characters. Or pre-existing ones, ones that yes. are dead, ones alive, ones not, yeah. it, it doesn't even matter anymore. They can posthumously be ruined. Like, that's sad. Thank you for anyone who's been watching so far. This is going to be heavily edited, so you will not know about everything we talked about. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, you're not missing much. It's basically <laughs> us being like, this film sucks and it's made me angry, and also here's some social problems that I'm angry about too. There's the too long didn't read version of it. Pretty much. <laughs> um, for anyone still watching, thank you very much. And uh, we hope you had a good time. So, take care, and... Goodbye. Bye.